Hello, everyone. Welcome to Talk Talks. I'm Daniel Kistner. I'm your host for the Oxford Center Talks. And today we have kind of a cool episode. Um, on my laptop here, which you'll see in just a second, I have uh, Dwayne Gibson, also known as Buzz Gibson, and he is a crew member of the Kenny Chesney Band. Um, I wanted to kind of do an episode with him as every year for any event that we, we run, he donates an awesome Kenny Chesney package, um, which usually brings three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 in donations uh, to the Oxford Kids Foundation. Um, for those of you that don't know what Oxford Kids Foundation is, um, it is an organization uh, that we have that provides grants for families, um, for kids and young adults that are in need of medical services, treatments, therapies that are not covered by insurance. Um, I have a personal uh, love for this organization as my little daughter Gracie received two grants um, uh, in the year 2021 uh, as we were out of money to continue therapy. We were so close to getting her to the skills uh, that she needed to walk, but we were out of money. And uh, insurance doesn't cover the intensive um, therapeutic physical therapy that we needed, and it doesn't cover hyperbarics. And there's lots of therapies in Michigan that uh, kids and young adults need but insurance will not cover for whatever reason. So the Oxford Kids Foundation was set up um, years ago, I think 2010, Tammy Peterson set that up, uh, to help families pay for those therapies that, that kids so desperately need. Um, sorry, I'm a little under the weather. I'm just getting over a cold, so I'm a little congested. Uh, things are echoing in my head. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, and again, Buzz donates an awesome package every year. And I wanted to get him on uh, kind of a podcast and just chat with him a little bit to find out what makes him tick and why he, why he loves the foundation so much. So, Buzz, thank you so much for, for being on our podcast. You bet. Glad to be here. So first thing I want to ask before we get into any of the Kenny Chesney stuff is I know you have a passion for guitars, and I see two really cool guitars on your back wall there. Can you tell me about those? Yes. Uh, well, of course, music's what got me into my position with Kenny, but... Uh... Uh, guitar on uh, my right shoulder is a 1932 custom. It was my dad's guitar. Who he wow. got me into music. Yeah, he played guitar. And uh, the one on my left shoulder is a 1981 Gibson Flying V custom. Wow, awesome! Very, very cool. Um, do you have? I assume you have probably a ton of guitars. I know you're an avid guitarist. Yes, uh, today <laughs> I'm probably about. 20 guitars. It's oh a, my goodness. It's, a, it's an addiction, <laughs> a good addiction. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a passion uh, more for music. I have a passion for, for hunting, fishing. So I have a lot of guns, uh, bows and, and all that stuff. Uh, we all have our, our passions that cost us usually a lot of money, way more than it, it saves us. That's for sure. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you got involved with the Kenny Chesney band. Because I'm guessing you didn't just, you know, find an application online, you know, on KennyChesney.com and apply to, to be, you know, a, as a crew member of his band. How did you get involved? Uh, I got involved, uh, like I said, it started through music. Uh, a friend of mine worked in the entertainment industry. He uh, worked okay. for a company that did concert lighting. So I started okay. out with that. We were playing gigs together, and uh, I was just got out of the Air Force and was gigging, doing uh, construction work, playing in my band. and uh, he said, I hear you're an electrician, and uh, we need some help. We're working overtime. <laughs> so I went into the shop and helped him, and, you know, I'm just an old country farm boy, so I have a very good work ethic. And uh, so I was yep. working really hard and putting out some good work, and they asked me if I wanted to come on full time. And I said, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll do this instead of crawling under houses and yeah. uh, in attics. So that's what got me into the business, uh, in the production end of the business. And so I started on a, in a lighting company doing concert okay. lighting. So awesome. Then that transferred over to the Kenny crew. They were looking. Uh, some of my friends were already on his crew, and I, this is my twentieth year with Kenny. Wow. I started uh, in two thousand four on the lighting crew. That's awesome. Uh, worked, uh, yeah, two years on the lighting crew, and uh, then the production manager, Ed Wanabo, he watched me loading uh, some of the lighting trucks and saw how I had a organizational skills for that, if you would. Right, right. Trucks. You know, it's real <laughs> life 3D Tetris. 
So I was segregating, you know, the audio department and the lighting and everybody really just to make room for me to squeeze in. And uh, yeah. he, asked me, he goes, well, you do really good at that. What do you think about doing that just full time? So I got off the lighting crew and started. I'm the load master for the tour. So awesome. we have uh, on our stadium show right now going out this year, we'll have about uh, 23 semis. 23. I think a couple of years ago when we talked, you only had 14, which I was mine. I was like 14 semis. But you guys, you guys bring everything, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We bring uh, we bring everything from the lighting, video, uh, sound, all the band gear, the set pieces, the office, because you know it's a full on <laughs> traveling circus, if right. you will, that yeah. travels around the land. So we have to have everything we need traveling with us. We're a a match unit. We're mobile. Yeah, you know? that's so, uh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. But we carry everything from, like I said, to Kenny's guitar, all the way up to uh, the a stage and everything. Room, a little vibe room bar or a little chill area, right. if you will. Or we yeah. set up a thing called the vibe room for our family and friends that come to the show. And uh, yeah, they have a little place to chill and get some drinks, water, what have you. And uh, wow, yeah, we carry everything. <laughs> so how many crew so you've got 23 semis how many like do you know the total number of crew that it takes for kenny to, to go, go someplace well, and counting the truck drivers bus drivers and and all the different crews but we're probably around 100 holy cow <laughs> 100 to 120 people that travel with us that is absolutely crazy <laughs> yeah we're just in this little bubble and we carry our little family our road family we just travel on him put the yeah. put show up for the people every you know we just do two shows a week we'll do a yeah. uh, uh amphitheater show on a thursday night okay that, that goes up and comes we put it up show plays tear it down put it in the trucks and we'll move on to a stadium we'll do a stadium every weekend so we'll load in that friday morning We'll load in all our stuff to the stadium, and uh, Saturday will be the show. Wow, that is absolutely mind-boggling. How long does it take to set up and then take down? And what kind of hours do you work doing this? Oh, it's uh, you learn to sleep in shifts. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> so on a typical day, we'll get up uh, around 7 o'clock, you know, have breakfast. We, they cater us breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They take care of us pretty good. And, yeah. Uh, so we'll have breakfast. We'll start loading in around eight o'clock in the morning. And excuse me, we'll uh, we'll go to about lunchtime. We'll have a big portion of it up. So by twelve o'clock, we'll be cruising pretty good and uh, have our little lunch break. Yeah, we'll come back. We usually try to have everything up and doing sound check by three o'clock. In the That's fantastic. And show That's you awesome. Know, you know, around seven seven thirty for amphitheater yeah. shows. Now a stadium show the doors open at four right which means it usually starts around i think 5 30. okay we have more acts on the stadium <clears throat> show. there's four acts on the stadium i think this year's uncle cracker megan maroney uh zach brown band and yeah yeah and awesome. on the amphitheaters we'll just have uh megan maroney and kenny on on the amphitheater shows right and do they have their own you know group of semis and things like that or it's all their stuff kind of with yours because they're using you they're utilizing your your set yes they they utilize our they'll bring their own set that their their band sets up on and okay. sometimes they'll bring some uh, additional lighting like around their set pieces but they'll Got use it. our overhead lighting they'll use our Got audio it. and uh, they have their own little crew members scaled down because they don't need as much Right, but they'll right. have their own guitar techs, drum techs. Uh, they'll have their own monitor engineer, sound engineer, uh, yeah. stage manager, and well, they're kind of self-sufficient. Yeah, they're not Kenny Chesney, not yet anyway. So someday, ho hopefully, hopefully they will. You know. So talk to me a little bit about kind of the interactions with with Kenny Chesney. Obviously, I've not met him, but you see him probably on a daily basis on tour. Yes, yes, very much so. so Tell me, uh, tell me how the crew interacts with him. Like, what, uh, what is, what's it like? Oh, it's, it's wonderful. He's one of those, uh, he's a real down to earth artist, really. Like, I said, I've been there 20 years, and 
if I was somewhere and he walked in, he'd be like, "Hey, Buzz, what's that?" You know, he, he, I love I've it. I've been around him twenty years, so he's right. uh, he's a real personable fellow, man. Really, really good. Uh, he's uh, I don't know. He's what, like I said, I've been with him twenty years. I wouldn't I wouldn't be here twenty years if he wasn't a good fellow. I'll tell you that. Right? Makes perfect sense. I get that. <laughs> I love he's, it. And he's real. Uh, you know, you can check him out. He's he's a very giving, very char- charitable yeah. person as well. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. A lot of people in the crew are, you know, it's always, you know, you see an opportunity to help out, you help out. Absolutely. You know, we're, we're blessed. So That's right. I'd like to hear that forward. Yep. Absolutely. I, I will re- re- really appreciate it. So let's talk a little bit about Oxford Kids Foundation. Um, how did you end up, you know, coming across uh, Oxford Kids Foundation? W- what was the start there? Um, well, I come across uh, through Cindy Shuppelman. Yep. Yep. I, she's one of my favorite people. I love Cindy. <laughs> I met Cindy, uh, let's see, it'll be nine years ago this November. I met her yeah. in 2016, and we became good friends and actually started dating. So, love it. Cindy is my girlfriend, and we can't. I love it. About, uh, you know, as we aged, saying girlfriend yeah. and boyfriend. <laughs> she's kind I of know, right? School, so <laughs> I started getting there. I said, well, I guess you're my significant other now. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Sounds, Sounds like, yeah, yeah. The, the older yeah, term. Yeah. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I got introduced to the Oxford Kids Foundation. And through her, yeah. I met Nancy Sutherland and some yeah, other, yeah. Yeah. And other people that yeah. work. And, you know, she told me about how awesome Oxford was and how much they helped her out. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I was on board right away. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a cool foundation. I don't know if you ever have heard my story. I won't tell it, but um, it means a lot. The foundation means a huge amount to us, you know. And uh, I get to approve those applications, you know. Me and I'm on. I lead that committee, you know. So I see applications and I source the information. And you know, we sit down and we talk about, you know, how much we're able to help, you know, families. Uh, and man, it, it brings a tear to my eye every time. You know, I go through an application to find, you know, I, I put myself in their shoes because I was in their shoes, you know, where your kid needs a life-saving therapy sometimes um, or to a, a, a life-progressing therapy, you know, to where it'll get you to that next stage for that, that kiddo. Um, but you're out of money. Um, and uh, it, I love writing those grant letters. It's the joy of my life to, to, to send somebody an email and says, hey, we approved your grant. This is how much we can give you. Uh, and so um, I, I share in your, your passion there. Yeah, and, and that's awesome. And, uh, and I think, like, Cindy's important. I think, it, and it, a lot of people think because it's Oxford Kids Foundation located in Michigan, they think it's just a Michigan base, but I know it goes right. out. Uh, anybody can send in an application if I'm. Yeah, yeah, as long as they treat in Michigan, anywhere in Michigan. So there's very few parameters. They have to. Um, the therapy has to be in Michigan, and that therapy has to not be covered by insurance. That's the parameters, you know. Um, and so um, the majority of those come to the Oxford Center, majority, just because obviously the marketing is here. Um, but no, we write, we write grants to, um, there's uh, a, you know, a place on um, the, the east side of the state, you know, that uh, does intensive physical therapy, you know, conductive learning therapy in Grand Rapids. Uh, there's other hyperbaric clinics, you know. Um, hippotherapy, aquatic therapy sometimes isn't covered, you know, so there's a lot of therapies that insurance, um, you know, doesn't cover, not that, um, like intensive physical therapy, it's physical therapy. You would always think that physical therapy is covered. However, it's intensive. So it's three hours, you know, so, so insurance goes, well, we don't cover three hour therapy sessions, you know, even though it's a therapy they would cover in one hour blocks or 45 minute or whatever. Um, so uh, that's what makes a difference in kids' lives, you know, are some of those therapies that insurance isn't going to cover. And so that's when Tammy decided, I've got to help these kiddos. Um, you know, they need hyperbarics or intensive or, you know, hippo, whatever the case may be. Um, and the families just, they're, they're pouring all of the costs, all the money they have into this and more, you know. Um, and, you know, you kind of go back to Tammy's story originally to where they put a price tag on Gianna's life. You know, right? Um, they said, "Hey, we know we think this might save your daughter, but it's going to cost this much money in order for you to do it." And you know, Tammy had to make that work. Uh, she didn't want any other parent to go through that. Yeah. You know, and that's why Ashford Kids Foundation was born. So. That's awesome. 
Yeah. So tell me a little bit about um, the, the package that you've, and every year the package is kind of slightly different based upon really, I think, what Kenny Chesney's doing, you know, where it's going to be in his tour um, name and, you know, how his, his tour functions. Tell me a little bit about the package that you've put together this year for Oxford Kids Foundation, the gala coming up. Yeah, it, uh, it'll be, uh, it's two premium seat, which means, you know, excellent lower bowl, you know, right. premium seat tickets. Uh to the Detroit Ford Field show on uh, August 10th. Yeah. And uh, you bid on that, and I have, uh, which I just got, and which I'm shipping to Nancy to put at, to okay. have at the auction. Uh, yeah. He just autographed a guitar, a nice Washburn guitar, uh, to have at the auction site, just to have there. Oh, awesome. We'll also have some T-shirts. Uh, we'll have, you know, he's sponsored by Blue Care Bay Rum. We'll have some of those yep. T-shirts. Uh, probably has some hats and stuff from No Shoes Radio. They always uh, donate to the yep. Um, yep. for this package. Matter of fact, yep. they did a little quick interview. No Shoes Nation Radio NSR. Oh, yeah. Quick little interview with me the other day. They they saw me bring in the guitar for Kenny to sign. They I love oh, it. sit in and play with the band. I had to tell them, no, this is a <laughs> guitar for a charity auction for the Oxford and they you know right then they had they had their remote mics and they set up and we did yeah. a and it almost caught me off guard you know like, ah. I love it you weren't ready for an interview that day huh <laughs> yeah here you go here's a mic in your face <laughs> but uh oh, yeah so it's uh the autographed guitar t-shirts hats um yeah. if they get there early enough I'll I will give them you know it has to be before the show goes on I right. personally give them a little backstage tour uh, we'll have a photo op on the stage, you know, so they can get Love their that. picture made on the stage. Uh, walk out on the tee so you get to see kind of what Kenny's view is. Yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, I get them some vibe room passes, the little private area for family and friends. So awesome. they can go and chill, chill out there. And, and uh, uh, yeah. And vi vibe room, like you can't buy those, can you? No, oh, like no. you can't go online and buy vibe room passes. So this is something that, that, literally money can't attain. It has to be given, you know, by by a crew member. That's pretty cool. Right, and then also I throw in, uh, there's they have their seats there, but if they want to, I'll give them uh, two sandbar wristbands. So if they want to go down in yep. front, right, they can get as close to the stage as they can. Get yeah, up, sh shimmy through all the people. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people. It's nice to have those seat options too. You know, right, you can go back right. to your seat and sit down, or you can go down into the sandbar and and experience that as well. Awesome. Very very cool. That's what the that's what the package includes this year. Very neat. Well, I thank you so much, uh, and it's something we count on. Uh, you know, you do it every year, and it, I, I don't want to ever take it for granted. Uh, we really really appreciate you. Uh, this. This brings a, a good amount of funds. You know, people love Kenny Chesney, um, and, uh, you know, they're willing to pay for things that you can't buy, you know, uh, in order for this experience. Kind of a, some, for most people, it's a once in a lifetime. You get to hang out with a real life roadie. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, most people, you can't buy it. You, you got to only get it through Oxford Kids Foundation. So that's, that's right. It's good. That's right. That's right. And I, I, I do so enjoy it. And I thank Cindy for. Look, I get emotion. <laughs> hey, if you cry, I will cry. I promise. Go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, absolutely it does. It does. Um, and I know I'd love for you to attend, but I know you're on tour. So uh, there's there's no way for you to, but we get it, uh, and we appreciate your help. So All right. I'm going to let you go. Uh, thank you so much for doing this little interview with us. I know it was kind of last minute uh, when I called yesterday, but uh, thank you for giving us the time and, uh, you know, all the help. Uh, these, these kids deserve these therapies, and, uh, and you're helping it, help making it happen. I appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep, we'll see you. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of Talk Talks. Um, if you'd, we'd love if you're local to attend the gala. It is on May 4th. Uh, this uh, and it is derby themed, Kentucky Derby themed, and it's going to be an awesome event. Um, at wear your Kentucky Derby, ladies wear your hats, and I don't remember what they call the suits for the the, the guys and whatnot. But uh, definitely uh, wear your Kentucky Derby themed garb. Uh, it's going to be a four or five course meal, past hors d'oeuvres, open bar, 
and it'll have all the auction items there uh, at the Oxford Center and uh, it'll be a ton of fun. You can bid live in the event. We're going to watch the Derby. Uh, it's always just an absolute joy and fun event, photo booths, just nonstop fun. Uh, so if you're interested in attending, uh, we'll put the link and all the information in the description of the video and, uh, and whatnot, so you can find all that. We'd love to have you May 4th, and you can bid on this Kenny Chesney package uh, that we, we are so lucky to have, uh, you know, Buzz and Cindy and Nancy and whatnot, be able to, uh, to get this for us. So uh, we will see you guys next week.